The West Michigan Whitecaps have their first game tonight, and crews have been working to get everything ready, including making sure the grass is perfect. WZZM 13 Steve Zagman is live at Fifth Third Ballpark to explain how your lawn can look just as nice. Now, Juliet, as you can see, I'm standing on the field, and this grass looks spectacular despite the fact that we had a late spring. So I came out here earlier today to ask the question, how they do it? We cheat a little bit and uh, cover it over the winter with some blankets, turf blankets, and help keep the soil temperatures up. Mike Huey is head of groundskeeping for the Whitecaps, and chances are you didn't cover your lawn with blankets. At this point, you know, if you're you're trying to you're wondering what to do with your lawn um, you can go out fertilize here pretty soon um, I would use like a quick release um, like ammonium sulfate type of fertilizer and it'll it'll kick in here pretty quick in a pinch you can spray paint your lawn oh it'll make it look good for a while but putting a, a coat of spray paint is this this area right here will have to be resodded soon enough because the paint that coat of paint is blocking the Sun crews have been working hard to get the field up to snuff from packing down the dirt, uncovering the bases, to nail dragging the field. I'm a reporter, we don't do hard labor, so this is a unique experience for me. Would you recommend as a homeowner if I wanted to spray paint a 20th anniversary Whitecaps logo? Absolutely. I could do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just uh, need a pattern call, and spray. Yeah, call us up, we got the stencil. You can rent it. All right, you, you, you heard that here. You can call Whitecaps and we'll give you a stencil to brand the lawn. You heard it here first. And if you want your lawn to look as good as the Whitecaps field, you can do what Mike Huey does at his place. I live in an apartment downtown, so <laughs> it's bark. <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, now as good as this grass looks, it's actually a little brown because it's dormant. Now Mike Huey says that that's gonna change because the grass is gonna grow. And let me tell you, this grass is uh, pretty comfortable. I can just lay down here. I'm Steve Zagman, ah, laying on Fifth Third Ballpark. Steve, thank you. If you are a baseball fan, you may have noticed some of the creative designs trimmed in the outfield or infield grass. Here are a few examples. We start now with the outfield at Bush Stadium in St. Louis, and you can see the design of the city's iconic arch. Now a creative infield design at Boston's Fenway Park. Can you see the Red Sox logo there? Pretty hard to miss. And then this picture was taken a few years back at Shea Stadium, the former home of the New York Mets. The grounds crew went to the trouble of designing, yeah, look, the whole skyline of New York City in the outfield. 